Bobbity Bop Bop Hello, friends! I'm so glad you are here! Let's do it! Today's theme is Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Ha 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 ha! We love mixing things up around here. Minute with Michael is often at the end of a show today! It's right now. Hey, Wemmy, so should we change it from Minute with Michael to Beginning with Michael? Yeah, yeah, I think so. We should. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I'm excited to play any role you'd like for me to play, Wemmy. Beginning, <laughs> middle, okay. or end. <laughs> I know. Well, see, you like got this whole thing rolling years ago, and then uh, we, the yeah, we kind of wrap things up off, and where you like tie it all together, and today we're gonna kick it all off. And you know what, Michael? I've got an idea. I didn't even tell you about this idea. <laughs> are you ready for this? I'm a good sport. Let's go. Okay, we are gonna do. And so, friends at home, why follow along? Because we need you to help, Michael. We are gonna do a scavenger hunt. Okay. <laughs> okay, so friends, here's how it works. We need you at home to look for some things. Look around, find something round, find something blue, a fish, and a fruit. <laughs> now, oh, Michael's already looking. Look at that. He's already looking for it. Good job. Okay. Oh, you already did it. You did it. So friends at home, if you find something blue, let us know. Post in the comments. If you find something round, let us know. If you've got a fish. Now, it may be not. You don't have to, like, move the aquarium or the fish tank. You might have a toy fish. You might draw a fish. And some fruit. Mm, I know there's some bananas somewhere around. Uh, I saw some bananas. Oh, Michael's leaving. I think he's even leaving. Yep. Oh, you go. Oh, you got a fish. <laughs> oh, that's a cool instrument. Pull that. Pull the uh, the little drumstick part out, and then it's you. you do you know? How, have you used this before? No. Okay. See the bottom part. Yeah. Uh, the under. Yeah. No. Like shake it along the bottom, or not shake it, but like. Uh, okay, I'm gonna teach you this. Okay. No, no. Sorry. Uh, I said it wrong. I not shake. Take that little drumstick kind of part, and then like um, rub the belly of the fish with it. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Sounding good. Really good. I'm we could... <laughs> I know. I was thinking that too, right? Um, so, friends, have you found, like Michael did, a fish or something round, something blue, and some fruit? I want, in fact, the first person to post comments that and tell us what it is. You got to say, like, I found a round, uh, like a ball. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, and then you just tell us in the comments what it is you put together, and um, we will, like, dedicate a song to you or something. I don't know. Yeah. And friends backstage, we've got friends with us, Brad and Nia and Ms. Lisa. If you find anything, let us know. We can, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe you got something in the show. So, what did you, did you get fruit yet, Michael? Um, you know what? I did. Where? I got this little snack. Oh! In and there's what a bunch of, of fruits, dried oh, like cranberries. Dehydrated um, fruits. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's dried cranberries, there's nuts, there's um, banana chips. Yeah. So, so you got it, You got three out of four so far. Yeah, but I can't find, I don't have, well, the fish, I don't have anything round near me. Ooh. Oh, I got a globe. Oh. Look at that. You do have a globe. That, can I borrow yeah. that? Will oh, that sure. I, yeah, that'll count because we're a team right now. We're, we we're always a team. team. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, let's get going with the opening song, and we'll see if friends still post more comments of what they find. We're still waiting to see who collects off. Oh, ooh, look at that. A round drum, a blue cup, a lemon, and a picture of a stingray. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, we're going to dedicate a song to you. In fact, this one. Let us know who to dedicate it to, like if it's for the family or a particular kid, or maybe the, a fish or a pet. So... Uh, the De Young family, right? Post uh, who we sing this to. Um, it's instead of down. By the way, I got to say, you know, Jim is on Tuesdays, uh, Wednesdays, right? Mm -hmm. He did a he does a scavenger hunt online a lot, and so that was inspired by awesome. our friend Jim. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Jim. Right, right. I think he's watching right now. Hello, Jim. Okay, yes. let's get to the song. Down in the sea, where the seaweed grows, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama will say, did you, okay, now we got to get some rhymes. What's under the sea? What type of animal? An ocean animal. I'll say whale. Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? <laughs> That's like classic in the song. Down in the sea, down in the sea, 
where the seaweed grows. Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama will say, did you ever see a seahorse playing in the ocean course? <laughs> An underwater golf course. <laughs> I love it. Down in the sea, down in the sea, where the uh, seaweed grows. Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama will say, did you ever see a fish making a wish? <laughs> De Young family. Now that oh, oh shark. Oh, I was wondering with the De Young family if we were dedicating the song to the fish, or or not. Just to clarify, um, no, no, no. Just that was an idea for it. I think. Uh, did you ever see a shark who was afraid of the dark, or who began to bark? I've heard of catfish, but have we heard of a dogfish? I think there is maybe a dogfish. I don't know. Well, let's wrap up the song. Down by the sea, down in the sea, where the seaweed grows. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, Michael will say. Michael, how do we wrap up the song? Did you ever wonder why Wimmy is so lovable? <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. It doesn't, but it's, it's a perfect fit. You brought me into the show early. Uh, I know. You got me searching for things. You got people searching for things. Yeah. We love you, Wimmy. Uh, you. Did you find all the things? What was the last one you were looking for? Something round. So I got. Oh, this. did. Oh, the hat. Oh, the, oh, yeah. The globe. We said the globe, but you're right. You got the hat too. Okay. Oh, look it. Carly found a ball, a blue blanket, an apple, and a fish. <laughs> Yes! Ding, ding, ding! So we'll dedicate that song to you too, Kylie, and the DeYoung family. All right. Yes! Hey! Whew. We didn't even got to Moby. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't even get to Moby yet. It's time for a message from Moby. Do you know what a pinniped is? <laughs> I was just reading about them. I learned that pinnipeds are a group of sea mammals that all have winged feet. That's what pinniped means. Winged foot. <laughs> sea lions, seals, and walruses are all pinnipeds because they are mammals that have flipper-like feet. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I just learned so much from my friend Moby. Hey friends, it's time for three sentence story, beginning, middle, end. And the three words, they come from you. <laughs> so, let's see what our story today will include. In the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. <laughs> I was especially dramatic there today. But in the third sentence, what happens? We have a solution! De -de -de -de. We need like a theme song music for it. Well, that's kind of like Superman, I think. But anyways, how do we start off the story? Maybe it's in the ocean. Maybe it's above the ocean. Maybe it's about a sea creature. Maybe it's about, I don't know, watermelon? It all depends what you share with us for the first word. Oh, bluebird! I like it. Bluebird, okay. Long, long ago, a bluebird flew over the ocean. <gasps> oh, there is an ocean. The bluebird is flying. Oh my goodness, that's a long way to fly. I think I've already got a sense of the problem. Is the bluebird going to make it? That's a long way to go. Oh no, but specifically, what is the specific problem that our bluebird has with, um, whew, with going over the ocean? Hmm, a box. <laughs> the trouble is a box. Hmm, okay. A long, long time ago, a bluebird began to fly over the ocean. She was almost ready to land on an island when she saw a box about to collide with her. Oh, no! <laughs> There's a box flying in the air! That's one of the problems bluebirds often have. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a flying box. Ooh, maybe there's a, a prequel to this book that explains about the flying box. But the bluebird is about to land on an island. Oh, that's perfect because that's how the bluebird gets there. The bluebird lands on islands along the way, but it's about to collide with a box. No! How does the bluebird make it safely to 
the island. Oh, oh, it just made me think of the book, um, uh, the dog, what's that often, the island of dolphins? Oh, 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 that might be inspired a little bit by that book. Oh, a teacup, indeed. <laughs> Hi, Miss Sarah. Sarah, Miss Sarah's got a solution of a teacup, of course. <laughs> okay, here we go. A long, long time ago, a bluebird was flying across the ocean. She spotted an island to land on, but almost collided with a box on her way down. No! Fortunately, a teacup sp like flew out of the ocean, caught the bird and the box, and they all landed safely on the island. <laughs> this makes me think of that story. What's the one about, um, like when the, I should know this. Is it Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, where the teacup and the, is that the one? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. So, um, pretty cool. We got our words. Bluebird, box, teacup. <laughs> Friends, let's check in with Nia at the HBCU Women's Lab to see what she's got going for today's Wimage. <laughs> hey there, Nia. How are Hi, you? Hi, Kevin. Hi, Wimmy. How are you? <laughs> Good. A teacup saved the bluebird and the box. A teacup. I love tea. Do you like to drink tea, Wimmy? Yeah, I like green tea and herbal teas and um, fruit teas. Me too. Now, would you drink tea if you were at a hot, if you were on a hot island? Oh, I might prefer iced tea. Iced tea. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I have today. Okay. And nice. like always, we'll work together and add more. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. So we have wow. an island here. We have the ocean. We have the palm trees. We have our bird over there, our bluebird, the box, and then the teacup. And we have some oh. other birds over there. Yeah, Can more friends. The birds? Those are? Those are flamingos, right? Yeah. There you go. And then we have the clouds. Maybe we should add the sun in there. What else do you think we should add? Ooh, uh, we have a question for you first. Is oh. it sunny where you are today? Yeah. Is. Well, in Dover, Delaware, it's actually not sunny. It's pretty cloudy. Uh -oh. But last week, it was very, very sunny. It was about 70, 70 to 75 degrees. It was really hot, but not this week. Hopefully, by the end of the week, it picks back up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hear you. So, well, friends, what else could we add? Um, thinking of what we just talked about there with the weather. A and, uh, oh, a mirror. Yeah, a mirror. That's kind of cool. That's like kind of from a fairy tale, too. Like, when you look into the mirror and the mirror, you know, maybe it's a magical mirror. We can, we can put, like, all kinds of themes. Uh, goldfish. We um, could. What are other classic fish. stories? Oh, yeah. Um, Maybe the mirror is floating. Right where they the say, ocean. mirror, mirror, on the, mirror, mirror, on the palm tree. <laughs> Instead of the wall, because there's going to be no walls. Fish. Yeah. Friends, download the Women's app for free. It's in the Apple Store. And just like Nia, you can create a Women's, make up stories, make up pictures, designs, adventures. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, the bluebird, uh, Kylie says, could be drinking lemonade. I think so, too. So there's hot tea. There's a variety of drinks that we can have. Hot tea, iced tea, lemonade. <laughs> Man, I love it. Hey, can you stick around at the dance party and we'll see any updates you might make? Let's of see what you course. got there. Of course. I'll see you guys. Be oh, ready to let, party. Okay, let, let's see real quick. Though. I got You teased me there with it. I got to see a little bit. Okay, there's, uh, oh, oh, there's the mirror. The gold and our mirror. Nice. I love it. We'll All right. Add we will... some more drinks. <laughs> Perfect. We'll see you at the dance party. Nia. Friends, we get to find out how to say today's words in Swahili. Let's check in with Brad to see what he's got for today's words. Hi, Brad. Jumbo Wimi. Oh, I love that. That means hello, right? Yes, it does. Very good. <laughs> what would you prefer on an island? Iced tea or hot tea? Mm, iced tea. But yeah. if, if you were on a deserted island, where would you get the ice? Because there'd be no no refrigerator. Hmm. Maybe the flying box was delivering ice to the island. <laughs> All right? Yeah, it, it could. <laughs> or if you had dry ice. Ooh. Yeah, that stuff's amazing. How yeah. do they do that? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the words were bluebird, box, and teacup. So the word for bluebird is indege rangi ya kibulu. And that literally means the bird, which is the color of blue. Oh, I love it. So the next one we have is box. 
And this word is very fun. It is sanduku. Sanduku. I'll try that one. Sanduku. Yeah. <laughs> very <Box>. good. <laughs> so the next one is um, tea cup. And I have said it's the cup for tea. So Ooh. kikombe ya chai. Ooh. Does kikombe? chai mean tea? It sure does. <gasps> So, so here in America, we refer to a specific kind of tea as chai, yeah. but in Africa, in Kiswahili, all tea is called chai. Nice. I didn't know that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. When you were growing up, did you drink any chai tea? Yes. So this is a cool story, Weaving. I went yeah. through a boarding school, and even though we had um, our coursework was American coursework, where I grew up and went to boarding school it was in Kenya, which has a big British influence. And so I don't know if you know about the British, but they take tea times throughout the day. Wow. That's so cool. they, yeah. they have different tea times. So we would have it, the boarding school I went to was a boarding school for missionary children. So we had chapel every morning, but after our chapel, we would have a tea time to drink our tea before we went back to class. We should have tea time during our show sometime. <laughs> we should. Yeah, I'll work on that. <laughs> awesome. In fact, I'm drinking my tea <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look at that. Nice, all right. Well, thanks, Mr. Brad. Enjoy the tea. We'll see you at the dance party. <laughs> well, that was fun. Did you hear that? Enjoy your tea. We'll see you at the dance party. <laughs> wow, so fun, so fun. Well, friends, we love books. We love books, lots of books. By the way, how are you doing on the scavenger hunt? Did anyone else find more things? I wonder if my Michael's got things. I forgot to ask Brad and Nia. Um, we'll find out. We'll check back with them. Maybe maybe they can go find some too. Nia and Brad, we challenge you. Make sure when we come back to you at the dance party, try to just get one of those things or more. All right, well, friends, it's time for Check Out This Book. Hi friends, today I wanted to share a book with you that is called Una, and it is by a Michigan author. Her name is Kelly DiPuccio, and it was illustrated by Raisa Figueroa, Figueroa and published by Catherine Teagan Books. And this is a story of a young mermaid and her best friend, Otto, who love to take adventures in the sea and they are treasure hunters and they get into all kinds of trouble and they find the, I think the, the grandest, greatest treasure and they see it down below. And the question is, can they go that far below to get the treasure? So I would challenge you, I would encourage you um, to check out this book at your library to find out Wimmy. What do you think about that story? <laughs> that looks so cool. I want, I'm definitely going to check it out. And I love the cover. That was so cool. The way the mermaid was in the water. That was awesome. I will check yes. it out. The illustrations are beautiful. Yeah, and Kelly DiPuccio, that she's a Michigan author. I know. So great. Yeah. Well, thanks, Miss Stephanie. You're welcome. And guess what? It is two for one today with Check Out This Book. Here we go again ah, with Miss Lisa from Comstock Park. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Oh, oh, great. Welcome to the show. There's so many good books, right? So many. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, which I am excited to show you a book called Don't Worry, Little Crab, written and illustrated by Chris Houghton and published by Candlewick Press. I love this book. You see this little crab right here on the cover? Yeah. He is so worried. Well, he starts excited. He's so excited to go to the ocean. He lives in a tide pool and his dad is taking him to the ocean and he's excited and excited and excited. And then he gets there and he's like, oh, it's so big. Maybe we should go home. It's kind of big. And do you think he goes in? I hope so. Nice? I hope he does, but I, I, I think so. I think he does. Yeah, he does. Yes. I'm gonna tell you that he does. But you have to read it to see what he finds when he goes in and 
how beautiful and amazing the world is that he finds under the ocean. It is amazing in the ocean. Yeah, this is a good book about being brave sometimes is hard. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, Miss Lisa. Hey, hey, did you find anything round or blue or a fish or a... Oh, what you got? Oh, it's round! It is! It's a water bottle! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what is that, actually? It has, like, goo in it. It's kind oh. of to make you pause and think, and um, you have to, like, stare at it and concentrate. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Awesome! Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Miss Lisa. We'll see you at the dance party! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, let's go back to Miss Lisa. What did we miss? She. What? We missed yeah. something. Did you? I, I feel I cut you off. No, no. I said I can't wait. See you later. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't wait either. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I just, I just want to make sure. Okay, friends. Um, we love words and singing and playing and creating. And uh, anyone got any update on the scavenger hunt that you may have found? Let's see. Um, Michael found it all. I know Nia, I think, and Brad, they're still working on it. We'll have to check back with them. But we started the show with Minute with Michael, and we're going to circle back for Minute with Michael Part 2. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, you didn't know I was going to do that, did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> you did. You did. Well, here's what I'm thinking, Michael. Do you so, remember the animation where I went into the ocean? Let's play that. It's a wonderful <laughs> animation our friends have helped us create. And it's um, it's inspired by your upcoming book uh -huh. called Working Winning hard. Dreams. Working and hard. so today, friends, you guys get an opportunity to see um, Wimmy under the water, under the sea, practically. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wimmy sat down, looked around the room, and began to wonder. He dreamed of diving underwater to sing to the seaweed while delightfully dancing all day. Fish go swimming one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Wait a minute. Is that a catfish? <laughs> the catfish go swimming one by one. Meow, meow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like it down here. <laughs> so Wimmy, how was it in the submarine? How did that oh, feel? It was so cool. I got to um I got to like look all over the place and I saw lots of fish and, and you know what I saw? What? <gasps> A shark! <gasps> no! Oh, oh. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Was it the dog shark or just the oh. regular shark? Because I know I, you said that Yeah. I, mean, I I have to do more research to find out for sure. Awesome. Sure. Well, you know yeah. what? If our friends at home didn't get to um, see this uh, animation or if they enjoyed it so much, they can always visit Wimmy.tv to watch it over and over and over again. It's one of my favorite animations, and I can't wait till the book is complete and yeah. we have all of the animations um, to uh, pair with the books. So. Yeah. We're getting there. Our yeah. friend Nate, our friend Nate Vanderplas, he's the yeah. uh, animator extraordinaire on that. So, I yep. think it's about time to get ready to dance. What do you think? Let's dance. I know we yeah. want to see what Nia is up to. Yeah. And then yep. Let's see if Brad's yeah. got anything that he yep. found from the scavenger yep. hunt. Let, ex love it. Let's bring in Nia first. Anything from the scavenger hunt you found before you show us the image? Well, I know we needed something brown. Yep. I have a bottle of Clorox. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's round. Yeah. It's this like Miss Lisa's bottle. And it's timely. <laughs> it is. Everybody should have some Clorox. We were also looking for something with the color blue. Am I correct? Blue! That works on the same Clorox bottle. My shirt and your is shirt. blue. <laughs> yeah. And fruit. I actually do not have fruit right now. Uh -oh. Well, I have frozen fruit, but it's in the freezer. That counts. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, let's see and what you got. Let me show on. you guys what I yeah. came up with. Let me show you yeah. what I added. Okay. <laughs> so we have a shark all the way in the corner. We have a jellyfish. We have three goldfish. We have the lemonade. We have the tea, the box, the bluebird, clouds, palm trees, and the mirror that the flamingo is looking. Wow. I want to go there. That's yeah. a wonderful island, Nia. Yeah. Thank nice. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. We're going to get ready for the dance party. Let's bring in Brad Woo! and see if he found anything. Brad, did you find anything on the hunt? Yes, I found this mug, yeah. a KDL mug for, nice. I'm trying to snow. get it there. Let it snow. <laughs> there it is. There it is. 
<laughs> so that's round. That's yep. Cape Real mug. My shirt is blue, yep. as is this uh, blue pen. Nice. But I, I have no fruit and I have no fish. Okay, you can still look later, right? <laughs> yeah, I can keep looking. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see if Miss Steph and Miss Lisa have anything else to add to the scavenger hunt, and then we'll dance. Miss Lisa, Stephanie, anything to add? Oh, blue paper. Yep. Oh, blue Parker. <laughs> nice job. Oh, oh what's Miss Lisa showing us? That, whoa! What we got to see that close up. A little tiny blue fish. Oh, oh nice. Cool. Love it. <laughs> That's so little. All right. Well, friends, let's get ready to dance. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. What a fun show. <laughs> hey, Emma, I'm glad you're here. Emma, good to see you. Oh, go, Brad. Go, Brad. Go, Michael. Go, go, Michael. Yeah, Nia. Go, Nia. Yeah, go, Lisa. Go, oh, that looks like seaweed dancing. Dancing arms. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs> we need longer dance music. We're, we're dancing it up today. <laughs> I'm still dancing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Wait for it. Where's the credits? Oh! Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage with additional support by these great partners. Live weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.